welcome back. It's science. Science. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm just gonna finish letting a few more friends in. Then we'll get started. Uh, let's see, we also have a, uh, an announcement to make. I sent a message to your families yesterday that uh, I would love to do a research project with you guys. Our classroom research project is about alligators and crocodiles because Leon and I were talking about this yesterday. Mrs. Cruz needs more information about alligators and crocodiles. She didn't feel like she knew a lot yesterday, so I would like your help. Why don't you, especially those that are finished with their, their work, right? If you're finished and you've got your coursework all done, maybe you can help me out on a research project. Send me a fact or two or three. Something really interesting and cool about American alligators or crocodiles. Yeah. And then I'll make like this really cool presentation. Okay, I think we'll get started. We'll finish letting our friends in. Emmy, are you here? Go, go. Yes, I am. Okay, go for it. Mr. Dave, you are special on time. Make it so muted. Good full name in the chat. Stay seated. Eyes on me. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Awesome. Good work. All right. Good job, Miss Teacher Helper Emmy. Uh oh. Our weekly spotlight people. Uh oh. I don't have them ready. I better write them down. I know who they are. They're not. They're not on the the um, slide. So are you guys ready? The teacher helper of the week. No, sorry. The awesome Zoom promise keeper of the week is, drum roll, who never, ever, ever unmutes. Oh, if you're unmuting, you know you're not going to get it. Who doesn't unmute and does such a great job? Hmm, let me see. Who's it going to be? Oh, I have a friend coming in. It is, wait for it, Carter. Carter, you're our teacher, no, our Zoom promise keeper of the week. That means you get to choose a game on Thursday. We still have to do your, uh, your field trip, man. Oh gosh, I better do that before I forget it completely. Our next friend, whoops, here comes some more people. Oh my goodness for amazingly detailed responses, somebody who just does not write one word sentences or just one sentence, they actually include more information. You know all about that stuff, right? Okay, so I do have to give a new shout out for somebody who like wrote this extensive response and kept adding sentences for me to understand. And it was amazing. So can I give a huge shout out to Miss Ruby? Ruby, beautiful, you did a great job with that. And finally, for working so hard, keeping up, you know, basically finishing their schoolwork so they can close out their courses. Somebody who just keeps bringing me good stuff to grade and has already finished is Miss Addie. <gasps> Addie is already working on semester two. That's right, she finished everything. So great job, Miss Addie. Smiles for everyone. If you didn't get it this week, you'll get it another week. So keep up the good work, guys. All right, what are we doing now? <clears throat> so skip this because that's not right. Okay. Oh my goodness. It is, oh, I have to do it again. All right, coming back to you, Miss Emmy. Today is, no, oh, it's this way. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Go ahead and serve Tuesday. November? No. Whoa. It's not November. Oh my goodness. Here, I'll write it up here for you. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Today is Tuesday and it is, ready? My mother's birthday. Oh my goodness. How did I forget that? 
<laughs> Today is Tuesday, December. 2022. Yes, that's right. Oh boy, I better go back to school. <laughs> yeah, it's not November anymore. No. All right. All right, guys, let's move on. Mrs. Cruz, can't believe you forgot it was December. Uh, I'm going to skip, 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 skip. You didn't see that. <clears throat> what are we going to do today? Today, we're actually going to talk a little bit more about what Earth is made up of. It's not just rocks and soil and plants. There's a lot that the earth produces and much of what we produce on earth or what the earth gives us, it makes it all by itself, are called natural resources. So today we're going to talk about natural resources. This is a great lesson from a friend and I'm excited to go ahead and learn more about natural resources and how we use it and how we need to protect our natural resources on the earth. Oh, let's skippy, skippy, skippy. We know, oh, there it is, natural resources. <gasps> Remember, you guys, every time I said that, you had to do something. What did we have to do? You haven't raised your hand. Natural resources. So this time we're going to talk a little bit more about how we need to protect them. Uh, let's near pod. Go for it. I'll put it in the chat so you guys can grab it. Copy link. And chat, here it comes, there it is. And now I better stop sharing so I can go meet you over there in our natural resources. <laughs> Power, um, Nearpod, here go, Nearpod, Nearpod, where'd you go? There you are. All right, and the code is TR8Q5, TR8Q5. And we have three friends in already. Wow, that's impressive. Let's see if we get a couple more before we begin. And while you are logging in, let me say hello to everybody here. I see Ava and Addie and Emmy and Mackenzie and Lucian and Leon, Ruby, Carter, Viviana and Isaac. Hi guys. Hey, I can see if I can put your names in alphabetical order. Let's see. Okay. so. Adeline comes first because A, and then her second letter is D. So that comes before Ava, who has A, but her second letter is V. So it goes Adeline, Ava, then it goes to Emmy, A, B, C, D, E. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. And then after Emmy comes, uh-oh, back it up, back it up. It goes like this, Adeline, Ava, Carter, Emmy. Oh, I forgot C. <laughs> and then let's see who else. A, B, C, D. Who comes next? Oh, Isaac. Isaac comes next. Yes. Um, okay. You uh, forgot um, uh, uh, a person who has a D. Who? Um, uh, David Charlie Huber. Oh, that's Carter. I know. He hasn't changed his name in the Zoom chat. Can you change your name, Carter? Can you? It says David Charlie Huber. No, he can't change it. It's okay if you can't change it. Can you hear me, Carter? Carter, can you hear? Oh, okay. All right. We weren't sure if you could hear us. All right. Let me try again because we're right, getting ready to start. It goes Adeline, Ava, Carter, Emmy. Ooh, now we have, a, uh, do we have Isaac. Then we have Leon, then Lucian, then Mackenzie, Ruby, and Viviana. I did it. I did it. Wow. Okay. Mrs. Cruz can put things in alphabetical order. Can you? What are we doing today? Conserving natural resources. Our essential question are what are natural resources and how can people conserve them? How can we conserve our natural resources? There's a cute little picture down there. Does anybody know what these little, this little symbol, oh, look on the yellow trash can. What does that symbol mean? Three arrows and go around. What is it, Mackenzie? Recycling. Beautiful. Does anybody here raise your hand if you use those blue bins 
and you recycle plastics and glass. Yeah, you could recycle. Very good. Different types of materials. They can recycle them and make them new again or usable again. Anyway, we have reduce, reuse, recycle, and that equals a happier earth. Okay. Natural resources are things that come from earth that people use. We don't make them, but we use these natural resources. Natural resources are not made by people. Water. I didn't make any water. Do you make air? No, the earth does. Coal, oil, wood, stone, and sunlight. Let me know if you can make some sunlight. Mm -mm. These are all naturally occurring. The, the earth gives the, these resources to us. And we call them resources because they're things I use. They're things you use, we use to make our lives a little easier. How can we protect them? Oh, there's our symbol, Mackenzie. We can reduce, reuse, and recycle. To conserve is to keep things safe and not waste or overuse them. In the chat, in the chat, tell me, everybody's going to get this answer. What is one thing that you use every day and you might use too much of it sometimes when we brush our teeth? Sometimes when we take a long shower, sometimes when we water the plants, what is it? What's that resource? Type it in the chat if you can, that we sometimes use a little too much of. And maybe mom says, turn off the water. What is it? Yeah, there it is. Here come the answers. Yeah. So if we reduce it, make it smaller, you reduce our consumption means to use less. Mm -hmm. Very good. Emmy, we use Emmy? Emmy, we don't use Emmy, we use water. So to conserve is the first one that we wanna discuss. How do we protect? It's another word for basically saying protect. Uh, and we need to use our resources wisely. So reducing means to lower your consumption, use less. And it could be water, definitely. Reuse, ooh, let's talk about reuse. Hmm. Oh, I have a good one. Let's see if you can figure this out. <laughs> uh, when my mom goes to the grocery store and she comes home and she empties all her items and then she takes what's left over and she reuses them in the trash can. What is it? What is she reusing? in a different way. Anyone know what it is? I'm thinking you're thinking hard, you're thinking hard. Not water. She carries these things in the door, she empties it out, and then she reuses these items in the trash can. Ooh, what do you think, Mackenzie? Oh, Isaac's got it. What do you think, Mackenzie? You can reuse the plastic baggies. Yes. We have a bunch of them in our house. I, we we have too many, so we it's reuse a, them. Well, yes. I guess we don't reuse them, but we use them for some other things. That's exactly right. Excellent job. Awesome, guys. All right, last one. Last one. Recycle. Hmm. What does it mean to recycle? Let's see if I can come up with a... Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, uh, yeah, we could. You're right. Uh, let's see. If we recycle, generally what that means is they take the items from your home that you no longer use, and then they can bring them to a, a processing facility. They sort them, and then they bring them to a processing facility. They might melt them down. They might clean them out. They may crush them. And then they produce something new completely brand new. So what can you think? Yeah, what else? What else can you guys think of? What else do we recycle and make into something new? Besides plastic, what's another one? I know those plastic bottles, right? Anybody know of another one? Makes a lot of noise, sometimes breaks. Mm. Anybody know what it is? Sometimes you drink like soda out of them or, or jars. Oh, yeah. Uh, Leon, I'm not sure what that means. 
uh, applesauce jar, like the glass jars. That's what I'm thinking of. If you have glass jars, they recycle those or glass bottles. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. What about cardboard? What about boxes? Do we recycle paper and boxes and cardboard? Yes. All right, well, let's learn more. All right, moving on. To reduce is to use less. Everybody go less, less, use less, reduce, reduce it. Don't use as much. Next one is uh, when we reuse something. Okay, Leon, out of the chat. Thank you. To reduce, to reuse something is to use it again and again. Many objects can be used in new ways, like the plastic trash bags or the, like the grocery bags, you can use them as plastic trash. Uh, when you reuse something, you do not throw it away. My, uh, my, my Mr. Cruz, Mr. Cruz reuses one of the Starbucks plastic cups, <laughs> always and always. Hold on, I'm coming, Leon. And then there's recycle. Recycle, listen to this. We take something old, break it all down, clean it, clean it, clean it, make it into something new. When we recycle old things, we reduce our waste and conserve our natural resources. We can recycle glass, plastic, paper, metal, and leftover food. Leon? Before I play the video, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? We, we, wait, 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 what? We recycle food? It said we recycle food. But, mm. but what about plastic water bottles? That's it. That was on the list. All right, Leon, let's play the video. Ready? Mute in five, four, three, okay. two, one. Emmy, I'll do it. I'll get, come to you right after, okay? Let's watch this real quick. Welcome to Kids Academy. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we will learn how to protect natural resources. Natural resources are very important for living things. Humans, animals, and plants need natural resources in order to survive. This is why conservation is so important. Conservation is the protection of natural resources. Conservation is the what? What did she say of natural resources? Waste, use, protection, or no answer. She just said it. It started with a P, I think. Conservation is when we pro... To conserve is to pro... There come the answers. If you chose C, you got it right. Let's keep going. Protection, we protect. Conserve is to protect. What happens if we don't conserve important things such as water and clean air? This can lead to scarcity. Oh no. Scarcity is when there is not enough of something. Look at that word here, right here. S-C-A-R-C-I-T-Y. Scarcity means you're running out of it. Oh no. Look at this dry land. There is not enough water to grow healthy plants due to water scarcity. This is also called a drought. You can help prevent water scarcity by conserving water. Turn it off. Conservation also uh -oh. prevents pollution. <laughs> pollution. Pollution makes our natural resources Ew. such as air and Don't water. Don't go swimming in that. Dirty and no. unsafe to use. Ooh, we did not protect that we water. We need energy such as natural gas oh. and electricity to use things in our home. Televisions, Turn it off when you're stoves, done. and refrigerators uh -oh. need energy in order to work. Turn off the light too. Natural resources such as coal or gas are burned in order to produce oh, energy. No. The smoke spreads into the air, mm -hmm. which can be bad for the environment. Some energy companies use solar power or energy from the sun. Does, does anybody, have you ever seen a solar, solar panel? Yeah, do you, have you seen them on roofs? No, yeah, okay. It's an alternate, alternative way to get electricity. Instead, 
Wind power can also be used to create electricity. Has anybody ever seen a windmill? Raise your you hand. You can save energy by reducing the amount of electricity mm. that you use. You can save energy by reducing the amount of electricity you use. True or false? If you, if you reduce your electricity usage, turn off the lights, turn off your laptop, close the refrigerator door, does that help you save energy? If you said true, you got it right, definitely. Okay, finishing up. The less energy we use, the less we need to produce. So how can we conserve natural resources? Here's a few tips. Walk or ride your bike instead of riding in cars or buses. Vehicle smoke can cause pollution. Use less water. You can turn off the water while you wash your hands or brush your teeth. Turn off things that use electricity when you are not using them. Use sunlight instead of electric light. Which of the following is not a good way to conserve energy? A, walk or ride a bike. B, turn on the water while brushing your teeth and let it run, run, run. C, turn off the lights when you are not in the room. So pick the worst way to conserve energy. <laughs> it says a big not. Not a good idea. Ew, the answers are coming in. Carter, I'm coming to you after the video. I want to do, I want to go to Emmy and then I'll come to you, okay? Also, we should be saving our comments for the end. Okay, 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 wait, we're almost there. If you said B, you got it right. B is yellow and that was the answer that we like we don't want, right? That's, yeah, it's give us a bad example, which is the following is not, which of the following is not a good way to conserve energy. So, or water, B was the correct answer. Okay, it's like 10 seconds left. Together, we can protect the earth and its resources through conservation. How can you conserve water and energy at home? Tell us in the comments below. No, that's okay. You don't have to do that. But what I do want to ask you is, why is it important to conserve energy? Now I can come to Emmy. You have 10 seconds. Emmy, go. Um, I want to say that we can use scrap paper. Yes. Ooh. That's a good idea. Oh, I love that idea. Thank you for that. Don't always go out and buy new paper. Use the scraps that you have. Good. All right. What about you, Carter? Go for it. You have 10 seconds. Carter, Carter. Is that, um, is that if you, like, um, are on, like, a boat and you see, like, a animal that has, like, a, um, like, a trash bag around its neck, then you might want to help it. Oh, that's such a sweet gesture. And you see that down here. This is my question. That sea turtle right there is actually a good example of why we should make those conservation efforts. Why is it important for a little kid in Hillsborough County to turn off the water, to recycle, to turn off the electricity, make sure their back door is closed when the air conditioning is on? Why is it important to, for a little kid in Hillsborough County to reduce, reuse, and recycle? Here are your reasons. Because you actually have an impact on the earth. Even one little kid can actually cause damage to the earth. It might be tiny, but it all it, add, it adds up, doesn't it? What if all the little kids did not conserve? So here is match the waste to the problem it, it causes. So like what Carter says, the plastic bags, if we don't reuse them or recycle them, Look what happens. Our animals might get caught up in them and get sick or die. They might eat them. Oh, goodness. That's not good for them. What if, oh, oh, the trash can? Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, I see. If you cut down all the trees, hmm, what's going to happen? Mm, yep. 
You're wasting all that paper and look what's happening to the forests. And we need our forests more than ever. Oh, wait, wait, what about this one? Oh, driving everywhere. Oh, see, we all work from home. Hey, so we're not driving all over the place and causing pollution. That's just one cause of pollution are the cars. And then what's the other one? If you keep running your water while you're brushing your teeth for two hours, <laughs> you forget to turn the hose off outside, we can dry up our freshwater resources. Okay, so let's see how you did. Excellent, excellent, beautiful. Okay, let's wrap this up. We have like five minutes. Uh, I, this is just a quick time for us to talk. Okay, so I picked two students at one time. Okay, and I want you to talk to each other and to us about what you can do to help us reduce, reuse, and recycle. Who wants to go first? Raise your hand. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Okay, Emmy and Emmy. How about Emmy and Ava? Okay, you two can unmute. Go for it. Start talking. Yeah, Ava, go ahead. Unmute. Um, if, if you keep uh, using the trash bags, it could hurt the turtles. And see, huh. and those are things that are adorable. They are. Ava, what do you have to say about that? Um, I didn't really hear. Oh, she said, she said, if we don't recycle our trash bags, then they can get into the waterways and in nature and hurt the animals. What do you think about that? Like a turtle. They live in the sea. What yeah, is it? And, and maybe the bats could fall in the water and get in the bat stuck on their heads. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Let's pick two new friends to discuss. All right, let's do Ruby and Addie. Go for it. Who wants to go first? Addie, you go first. All right, tell me something mm -hmm. about. Okay. How you can protect the animals and all of the other things by when you, when I brush my teeth, I should actually turn off the water when I'm brushing my teeth. So tomorrow I'm going to start doing that. Oh, I love it. Ruby, what do you have to say about that? I like to do that all the time because my mom said that our water bill is going down to the price is going down. So it's less money and we have to... Not use that much water. That is so great, guys. I love it. And wow, you guys came up with several reasons for reducing your waste or consumption of water. Good work. All right, let's pick two more. Leon and let's see, Leon, Leon and Isaac. All right, Leon, you go first. When you cut down all the trees, you waste pencils and paper. And then yeah. we won't have enough paper to um, throw it away. Because we need the forest. Look at the forest getting cut down. We totally do. You're right. Okay, wait for a second. Isaac, what do you have to say about that? Do you agree? Why? Isaac. Isaac? No? Can you unmute? I can turn off the light and use the sunlight if I want to read a book or a game. That's true. Isaac, what do you think about um, saving the trees? Why is it important to save the trees? Because the trees will pay for Yeah, definitely. Exactly what Leon said. You're right. He agrees with you, Leon. Does anybody have another thought about why trees are so important? Ooh, I know why. Let's see. How about Mackenzie? Mackenzie, why are trees so important? They can give us air. Oxygen, that's right. Oh, I need to breathe. Okay, who wants to go next? Let's do Carter and who's got a hand up? I need hands. Okay, I see Mackenzie. All right, let's do it. Carter and Mackenzie, unmute. Go ahead, Carter. What's important to know about conservation? Um, is if like um 
if somebody cuts down all the wood and like the forest, then or if everyone cuts down all the trees, then we won't have any air to breathe. Yeah. Mackenzie, what are you thinking about that? Yeah, I agree with it. Awesome. I love it. Trees and humans and animals, we all work so well together. And if we don't have the trees to provide us shade and oxygen and all the resources we use from them, wow, what kind of world would we live in? Or what would it be like? All right. Is there anybody here who has not had a chance to discuss and would like to discuss? Anybody who has not gone? You have not gone. Emmy, did you already go? Do you want to do you want to share one more thing? Okay, go for it. Okay. What are we doing after? Oh, <laughs> you had your hand up. I didn't wasn't sure if you had another um, another example of conserving natural resources. Oh yeah, I do. What's that? If you're conserving, um, you, you can live a happier life and you don't have to use as so much water. That's true. And healthier too, don't you think? We're yeah. happy and healthy. All right, well, we're going to skip that part. We already did that. And now, are we finishing up? I think we're finishing up. It's so slow. Not time to climb. I'm not very oh. good at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to play if you don't want to. Let's go to the, Yay! Go to the mountains. I want to go to the mountains. All right. Let's see if you remember what we know, what we learned about conservation, conserving natural resources. It's okay if you don't want to play. You don't have to. Okay. Let's see a couple more seconds. In five. Four, three, hold on, two, I'm holding on, I'm holding on. Ooh, we have one, two, three, four. <laughs> Look at Mackenzie's character. All right, we're in, let's do it. Which of the following is a natural resource made by the earth? Cars, swimming pool, sunlight, or pizza? Remember, it's not made by humans if it's natural. Ooh, if you said C, you got it right. Swimming pool and pizza are not <laughs> natural resources because they were made by man. We're looking for natural. What natural resource is used to make a soup can? A can? Soil, water, or metal? A is soil, B is water, C is metal. To make a can, you know, a can. Ah, if you said C, you got it right. B, mm, a can is not made out of water, though, it's hard. Okay, what is the best thing to do with broken glass? Reduce it, reuse it, or recycle? A is reduce, B is reuse, C is recycle it. Ooh, I would recycle it. I would throw it in the recycle bin so they can take that broken glass and make it into something else. If you said C, you got it right. Two more questions. Turning off the lights when you leave a room is an example of what? Reducing your usage, reusing, or recycling. Reducing, reusing, or recycle. I can't do the recycle thing. It's too hard. <laughs> if you said to reduce it, that means lower it. Take, turn it off. Don't use as much. All right. So last question. Blank is an example of how to reuse things. Okay, so A is throwing out trash, showing how to reuse. B, using less paper. Or C, using an empty glass jar and now using it to store food. Which one of 
of those shows how to reuse something in a new way. Oh dear. Oh no, wait. It's C. C, guys, using an empty glass jar to store food. Wait, All wait, you what? practice. It's okay. Don't unmute. Hi, Don't unmute. Don't unmute. Do not unmute during any part of this. Okay. So how confident do you feel in your ability to explain ways to conserve and protect natural resources? Tell me how you're feeling. Based on what we just saw in the um, 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 time to climb, maybe B? Let's look. A, I need lots of practice. B, we can share a few examples, but I'm just, you know, maybe just a little more practice. And C, oh, I've got this. I got them all right. Oh, wow. Thank you for being honest. You know, learning how the, the earth works and how we use what the earth provides us is a very important lesson. And not just what we do when we use it, but how do we protect the earth so that we can continue to use it? I would, I would not be happy to run out of air and water. <laughs> I don't think we'll run out anytime soon. I think what we do need to work on is keeping it clean. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I know. And the less we use, the better, uh, the, the more we'll have and the cleaner it will be. Okay, so I think we're all finished. Thank you for learning with me. Do the crocodile dance. <laughs> and now I am going to stop sharing and say a quick goodbye and see if you have any questions about our lesson today.